but turned over as the Beavers go off for a change. Here comes Jake Schmaltz, knocked down. Judd Caulfield coming in. Jandrick, one of the top point getting defensemen in the country this year. He will glide in and look for the wraparounds. Had a little extra oomph on that as he was skating away. Good stop by Enright, who gets the whistle with 13.31 left in the opening frame. Out here, here comes Bemidji State, two on one. That's Molek now starting to break up to Yuri Bisonin. Big stop by Helston. Oh, look at Jackson Blake here. Sorry to break up that story. This is going to add to a chance now as Sidorsky fires one just wide. See it right there. There's Clevin now trying to show off his hands. Tyler Clevin driving in. Tried to get it to the forehand. The rebound was there. And Dylan James. Johnny on the spot to bang one home. North Dakota striking first here in game number two through the freshman. one nothing. Well, how big is it to have Tyler Clevin back in the lineup? Look at this. This is a man's play. He drives the net, lowers that shoulder, gets that puck to the net, makes Enright slide over to stay with him to make a pad save right here. Gets that on frame, but then because Enright's sliding with that play to make that save, it goes right out to Dylan James in the slot. And he just puts a backhander into a gaping wide open net and gives North Dakota a 1 0 lead. But what a play there by Tyler Clevin from the back end, driving it to the paint and getting rewarded with a rebound laying out is Dylan James. Smolak down low to Leighton Road. Fired in front. Helston sliding across. No goal here. That puck was, boy, awfully close to the goal line. Helston able to keep it. Dakota goal, only for it to be. Changed to Judd Caulfield in the end is Hayne, who's got seven tallies this season. And the ice is open, so sometimes they're just throwing that up to the boards. That's where Gaber's going now. Over to McLaughlin for the one timer. Enright able to slide across to make the save on the freshman. They'll bounce off Lundman up top to Bast. Caulfields finding more. Big save by Enright. Farmer shooting just wide. Set right back. Loose puck, Gaber there, and right the initial stop by Reese Gaber, able to follow up the rebound and bang it home. Two nothing, North Dakota. Well, if you're Bemidji State, not the guy you want to have loose in front. Not only this, but it's a misplayed puck right there. He gets first opportunity on it, and then a second opportunity on it. Watch this, the puck's gonna just squirt right off of the Bemidji State player. It looks like it went right off of Hutchinson, right to the stick of Reese Gaber, and he makes, uh, Enright makes that first save, but it's Gaber following up his own rebound for his 10th goal of the year. Smolik and Rosen, the alternate captains for Tom Serratore this season. Part of a really strong leadership group for BSU as Jamernick comes forward. The fire from a tight angle, and finds the back of the net! First of the season for Louis Jamernick. Three to nothing, North Dakota. Well, Jamernick just coming in off the side of the half wall here. He's just going to try anything, throwing this at the net. You got Gavin Hain driving to the net. That's one you need your goaltender to make. Anything that's that sharp of an angle that goes through a body, trust me, Gavin Enright wants that one back, and that was a big one. Coming from his left over to his right, he shoulder shrugged that short side save. Another save by Helston, the rebound pushed wide. Good chance falling to Flamang. Able to keep the puck. Good control there with Pickering waiting. McLaughlin circling, finding his man. Sidorsky had the chance. Enright able to close it down. All of his six foot two frame and that long stick. And now a turnover here. Another shot by Ness that was blocked along the way. Yes. So Jaden Pickering coming the other way. Pickering able to roof one past Helston short handed. But Midgey State on the board. What a shot by Caden Pickering, and it's three to one. Obviously, been their best source of offense so far as that shot goes wide. This game now takes it a whole new dimension as the Beavers get one again. Great feed in front. Carter Jones was there. First of the season for him, and it's three to two. You drift under 10, and Havin Hain tries to change it here. Good drive in, send it in front. Big sap by Enright. Glove down by Rosen. Another pass intercepted by Caulfield. He'll loft it forward. This will find the back of the nuts, and that will do it tonight. Well, if you're
your North Dakota event, but you didn't break. Caulfield with the empty netter, and that's a big goal with 29.4 seconds. Bemidji State, boy, you got to give them a lot of credit, a lot of fight in that locker room. They came out here, gave North Dakota everything they could handle. But it's Judd Caulfield who just kicks that up from his skate, and he just chips that one up and over and finds the back of the net for his fifth goal of the season, and it's a big one, and it's a huge sigh of relief for that North Dakota. Now, again, like I say, they bent, they just didn't break. As Bemidji stayed on the power play, and they just know how to, how to time, and that will seal this one for North Dakota, a big win for them. A character-building win where you learn how you kind of let a lead slip away, but you ha do enough to get the job and the end result that you needed, and this is a big win. North Dakota, they needed a win, and they got the job done here tonight as they beat the Bemidji State Beavers 4-2.